everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a Samanic Astrologer. First of all, I want to uh, say hello to all the new subscribers uh, and welcome uh, to the channel. And of course, I want to also let you know that I read all of your comments, even if I don't have time to, resp to reply to all of them. And thank you so much for your likes, for your messages, for everything. <laughs> They're very, very appreciated. Um, now, we are having a, a full moon in Aquarius in the heart of the summer. 1st or 2nd of August, depending where you are in the world. So the full moon is happening on the 1st of August at 8.31 p.m. Central European time, that would be Berlin time, or uh, 7.31 p.m. London time. So this is a full moon that comes to liberate us. <laughs> so we've been going through a lot of changes uh, as we have the, the shift of the lunar nodes, uh, and we have the new cycle of the 18 years uh, that started with the previous new moon on the 17th of July. And now this full moon comes to show us our limitations. It actually comes to highlight to us what is holding us back for creating this future that we really want because Aquarian energy is very much connected with the future. So before I continue, if you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my channel that you can uh, support my work. Uh, so. Uh, Aquarian energy, it's very much futuristic, it's like this new age energy, this uh, is beyond, uh, it's beyond this, this present time, it's like very, very innovative energy. Um, so this, this full moon in Aquarius actually is a, a kind of a karmic full moon because the ruler of Aquarius, the ancient ruler of Aquarius, it's Saturn. And Saturn is the lord of karma, it's the planet where we learn the most, it's the greatest teacher, and of course the ruler of its event, even if it's a full moon or a new moon, gives us the energy of this full moon. So this full moon is helping us to cleanse karma and let go of our own limitations. Now, a very important thing is this full moon also uh, does, um, the, the moon does a square, a disharmonious aspect with Jupiter. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion, of abundance, of opportunity, of openness. So when the moon squares Jupiter, so it talks about uh, what is stopping us actually for creating this opportunity, this abundance in our life. What actually, what is the limitation? What is this, this blockage? What we have to really uh, go sit with ourselves and reflect? And what are the patterns we are operating in our life? So now, in addition to all this, uh, all this energy with the full moon, we have two very, very important things. We have Venus and Chiron in retrograde. So this is super, super important time. First, Venus retrograde. Venus is retrograde in Leo since the 22nd of July. So I'm sure you're already feeling this energy. And Venus is the planet of love relationship, of money, of our self-worth, our value. Uh, it's connected with arts, beauty, and how we embody and how we use our feminine. So Venus uh, is in retrograde and also went retrograde on the 22nd. And the next day, the 23rd, straight after, Chiron also uh, started its retrograde. And Chiron is the wounded healer, is an asteroid that represents our deepest wounds and how we are going to heal in this lifetime. So as you understand, having these two retrograde together, together with a Saturn, the ruler of this full moon, that is also in retrograde in Pisces, we have a lot also of reflective energy under this full moon. It's like, go back and reflect. <laughs> Step back, reflect. So of course, it's a lot of awakening also happening, a lot of awakening to the hard truth, like whatever we couldn't see before. And every full moon brings light, brings light to whatever we couldn't see before, but especially this full moon, it brings a lot of light to things we were not able, even with our physical eyes to see before. It's like we had like a, a membrane in front of our eyes and we couldn't see, and this is gonna help us. So let's start analyzing Venus because I'm very excited about that. So Venus is retrograde in Leo, and this is not something that happens all the time. Last time Venus was in retrograde was 2015, and before that was 2007. So of course, if you want to reflect what was happening in your life back in 2017 in themes related to Leo, uh, to Leo energy and to, and to uh, Venus, also you can reflect back to 2007. So Venus and Chiron, they work together. They work together under this full moon and they will work together with us for a longer period of time. So they really want us to see our wounds. What are we actually creating 
uh, based on our wounds. And we all know this is the basic knowledge we have from astrology, that whatever patterns we carry in, in, in us, this is how we see outside, in the outside wor world. So Karen and Venus retrograde is like, you have to see what par patterns, what wounds are you carrying. And because of these wounds, you manifest the situations in your life again and again, even if it's a relationship with money, a love relationship, if it's a related to your, to your value, if it's how you embody your feminine, related to how you uh, enjoy life, because even it's all about enjoying, enjoying life and having pleasure, all these kind of themes. Also how you operate with your feminine, how you embody and how you treat your feminine side. So all these kind of things and of course, also for us with this full moon brings this higher understanding of like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm doing this because I have this wound and blah, 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 you know? So this, this full moon helps us to make actually the connections that sometimes is really difficult to see. Uh, even if you have been going for a long time to a psychologist or doing uh, any kind of healing modality, sometimes it's really difficult to understand the pattern. But this full moon really helps us to get this pattern and say like, okay, I really get it. Why I've been going through these uh, narcissistic relationships for so long. This is how. Uh, this is why I've been having this bad relationship with money. This is blah blah blah. So this is a lot of things come now to the surface. A lot of things come to the light with this full moon, and all of the purpose of this is to awakening, to bring this like higher kind of uh, truth and awakening, and really uh, help us to build the future. This energy that we really uh, want for ourselves. So this full moon might feel a little bit harsh on us because it's karmic, brings a lot of karmic stuff we have to let go. And also with a square with Jupiter is also, it comes a lot of like feeling this really much. Some, some sensitive people, you can some, sometimes feel this in, in box, like you're in a box, you really this contraction in you. And this full moon will help you to break free. So I highly recommend to, uh, to journal, journal, write down, write down how you feel. Uh, reflect, use all this energy for reflection is, is amazing opportunity and uh, also sit with yourself, meditate and uh, all the answers are in you so the best way to know is to ask yourself and, and get the answers of course. So now also one thing I didn't say, we're going to be still working with this energy of Venus retrograde for a while so it's going to be in retrograde until the 3rd or 4th of September depending when you are in the world and also Chiron is going to stay retrograde until the end of December 2023. So of course uh, the most intense is going to be until the beginning of September where these two will be both in retrograde but of course uh, with Chiron uh, we're going to have some more time. And um, that's all I want to share with you. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, if you enjoy make sure you like. I would love to hear from you on the comments. Uh, what are you going through right now? How is everything? And uh, of course, if you would like to work one-to-one -one, uh, with me, uh, I offer a variety of astrology readings that can support you on your, uh, on your path. So I will put uh, the link on the description if you'd like to have a look. And looking forward uh, to see you in the next video. Have an amazing, amazing full moon. And I wish you amazing insights, amazing realizations, and to really understand these, these patterns and create after the future that, uh, that you want. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>